coming over here. We got this thing just sitting right now. Got to try to get this thing going still. I think so. All right, so, <laughs> well, at least you got the intake off. All right, so pretty much, yeah, we're still trying to work on getting yeah, the starter off. off. Yeah, it's, it's a start, honestly. <laughs> so, honestly, his bolt, like I said, that bolt, we tried getting that off, but we don't want to strip it for the starter, so. Dude, the guy stripped it even more. I had a guy come down. He had an offer up mechanic yeah, come through. Dude, you feel try me? To get, him, get off that bolt. Yeah. Get this manifold off real quick. It doesn't really take that long. And I don't know a lot of you guys are like, yo, it's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. But if you can't get the bolt off down there, there's no way you're going to get the second bolt off. So you might as well just take the manifold off, clean your mani off, get a new manifold gasket. About to get that pesky starter out. Just a little update for you guys. Manifold is off. We are just cleaning up pretty much everything that we can by hand. Blocked off all his ports right there. But look at this, guys. The starter is accessible right here. And this is the bolt that was being an absolute pain right there. So I'm hoping we can get this job done. This is the easiest way you're going to be able to take this thing off is by removing the manifold. Stay tuned, for, uh, stay tuned for a little intake manifold paint job too. Yeah, he's going to be painting Might his manifold. Well. We're going to be painting her gold. 17 millimeter bolt is free. I'm going to bring you down there and show you that afterwards. But what we used was this ghetto metal piece. I don't even know what this is, but we had enough leverage. So there is the bolt right there. Got it free. It is a 17 millimeter. This is our setup pretty much. All we need to do now is there's a bolt right in the back, right there behind these sensors. And we need to remove that. And then we're going to unplug this connector, the sensor on the top here. Should slide right off. So that's what that looks like. And then we're gonna have a top I'm gonna go grab that other sensor. We gotta take this off. Yeah, we got the new starter, or should I say the used starter right here. Line that up with that, Bill. I wanna see if everything Why is it like different connects. I can't believe how tight this bolt was on there. I the ratchet the ratchet, the ratchet master. Woo! Guys, you need to invest these. You need to have these for your collection. Look at I already got it off. Let's see if it's Let's see the condition of it, dude. One more bolt, yeah. Let's see if there's Loctite all over the threadings. Bruh, it's just dry it's for the connector piece. And this is grounded pretty much to this, this connector and then right on the top. So I think that's like a 12 millimeter bolt. Say what's good to the coop, everyone. What up, coop? Great dog right there. Lift up on this hose. This extended bolt right here, literally, I'm on it right now. So right there, it's the back one here. It's a 14 millimeter bolt. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get that thing loosened up and hopefully it doesn't give us a problem. Oh dude, it came right off. <laughs> that shit was loose. Yo, do you think, look at the size of that thing. That just came out guys, the 14 millimeter bolt in comparison to this one. Look at that, hold them like that. Dude, that's crazy. Here, don't lose these. I mean, dude. hey, there's only two bolts connecting it. So they Pretty much. Now we can, now we can back this starter off from the, because right now it's resting against the transmission where the flywheel is. We're gonna go ahead and pull this backwards towards us so we can get this ground wire off. Well, here's the starter, guys. Yo, this thing is freaking guys. heavy. So I know it's super hard to see right now, but it is a 12 millimeter. So the top ground is a 12. Take the old ground off. Little nut for the ground right here. Starter is out. Right, this should be good. Wait, get my face in there. All right, guys, got these things in the light, and we're just literally comparing these right now. So, this is off the SI, and this is the one he got from the junkyard. As you can see you have the ground on the top. This one is off an Accord, maybe a TSX. Yeah, dude, it says it fits. And the ground is towards the back, so it's it's a different setup. But 
I hope this fits. Yeah. I hope this clears the metal bracket. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get this new one in, but this thing looks a lot more aggressive. Just all we need to do right now is get the ground off of this one because they caught it right here, right at the end, so. Original Honda, look at that. All right, guys, we got the FA5 all covered up now. I told Billy not to run the starter that he got because the sensor did not plug in. One of the sensors was off. The ground cable would connect, but the sensor would not. So I said, just hold off. I said, you're better off buying a uh, remanufactured one, a Denso off of eBay. Yeah, dude, do you really want to pull this back apart? You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. So anyways, we're gonna have, I'm gonna update you guys on how this thing runs once we get the new starter in, but she's all finished up, super stoked. We're gonna need coolant to refill the block afterwards and a few new things. I think you need to get a new stud. Yeah. So I know it was super dark and you guys couldn't really see me, but I wanted to get this job done. I've been busy with work, so this is the perfect night to do it. Got the floodlight set up right here. When I get a shop in the future, I'm definitely gonna have these and I hope you guys really enjoyed this. So if you did, be sure to give me a like, drop your comments down below on what you think, and subscribe, subscribe for some to more. Subscribe boy. Subscribe to your subscribe boy. Subscribe to your boy right here. I'll drop oh, yeah. his, uh, his link down in the bio. Yeah. And just, as always, guys, remember to never stop, stop wrenching. Oh, <laughs> Using machine machine machine.